Yeah, yeah, it's a transition, transition transitional period. So I'm ready to ready to, to, to play a good game. What are your emotions gonna be like on senior day playing your last football game in college? Um first and foremost probably grateful. Uh downstairs we were just talking about, you know, how, how appreciative I am of this opportunity being here. Um, you know, coming from where I've came from. Uh, you know, it all it's all just kinda ended up where I wanted it to end. Um, so but for some first and foremost appreciative, just ready. You know, ready to kind of lean on, lean on that that factor of it. I'm ready to go. Rod, your offensive line has been beat up most of the year. What has Coach Key's message been to you guys as you move along? Really, just be a be a good teammate uh, first and foremost. Obviously, when when something happens to you and and you have to watch somebody go in in your position, uh, you know, the younger they are, especially. Uh, you have to coach them up, right? You can't, you can't kind of disappear. Um, so you have to make sure that uh, you're helping guys out, and at the same time, you have to make sure you're doing everything you can to get back on the field, uh, which involves, you know, training room, which involves eating right, getting sleep, uh, just doing the things that you have to do to to, to, to try and make it back. Allison. Really good. Um, I played. I played four rivalry ga- five, four rivalry games at Vanderbilt, uh, my old school, uh, against Ryan Johnson. Won three of them. Um, so ready, ready to go. Yeah, ready to go. More questions? Do you lower the one over Ryan Johnson a I talk about it all the time. Yeah, I, I've probably talked about it ten times this week. Make sure everybody knows. Uh, high school rivalry was Wesleyan, and I think we won all of those as well. Ken? What, I mean, is the, does it feel the same kind of old as the Tech Georgia is kind of what you could sense you get from the team? I would say being here, uh, being from here, uh, it's more of, more of a, definitely more of a big deal. Um, you know, growing up around it, I didn't watch a whole lot growing up. Um, but, you know, being in high school and middle school and elementary school, I was always here about it. Um, so it means a lot. Uh, and there are a lot of, I would say there's, there's a lot of, you know, expectation to come out and be physical, make sure, you know, that you're match- we're matching the same energy that Georgia has. Dave? <laughs> That's a hard question. Um, I would say you, you take it one day at a time, uh, one minute at a time, um, from the meeting room to the field to uh, training room afterwards to back to meetings afterwards. Again, every single op- not opportunity, but every single moment is different. Every emotion is different. Trying to it, it, it's 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 like a an effort to change your emotion based on where you are. So you know, when in meetings you have to be calm and collective and ready to go. In the field, it's it's intense. Um, it's very intense. Um, training room, that's like a job. It's where your body, you have to repair your body. So it's just every step of the way has just been um, me trying to take it the best way I can take it possibly, really. Given the way that the last game went, is it hard to kind of refocus you guys a little bit to try to come Opportunity to be physical. Opportunity. Um, really, it's just another opportunity. You can't waste it. Um, you know it's coming. Uh, last week happened, yeah. Um, but at the same time, every week is an opportunity to learn what you mess up on, opportunity to grow, opportunity to be resilient. So it's just another matter of being resilient. Dave? How hard they play, you know. The biggest thing that I, one of the biggest things I watch, I've watched all week, is you watch just how deep they dig their cleats into the ground. I mean, they're every single play they are coming, they're trying to hit you, and you have to match it. And I mean, it's, it's do or die. You, you can't, you can't not go out there, and you can't, you know, be soft. You can't be uh, timid. You can't overthink. It's just a matter of playing fast, going out, and just executing. You have no choice. Okay. Do you know, I guess he'll, 
Um, no, we will come in or Thursday morning. No, Thursday morning definitely we'll have practice early and then later on we're allowed to see family. Elsa? I always eat the most, uh, no matter where I am, usually. Uh, but probably collard greens with cha cha sauce. Yeah. Whoever's making it, it depends on who's making it. It'll be different this year, though. So. Uh, <clears throat> I'll probably eat three and then I'll take home three. <laughs> yeah, to be honest. All right. Anything else for Devin? Um, start talking to agents. Have once that once you know this whole year I've just trying to focus on football. Uh, I'll play a, a game in February and then that'll be that. Uh, defensive lineman John and Brooks. We'll go ahead and open right up for questions for John. Go ahead, Brock. You made the decision to come back from the extra year. You're finally down to your final game. You know what? What do you feel right now? Um. Right now, the feeling is, you know, excitement. I get one more opportunity out here on the flats, you know, in our backyard against the number one team in the country. So we strapping up again. One last chance out on the flats. Go ahead. Obviously, Go ahead. Georgia plays three physical running game, running game pass and stuff. Kind of what you see on film from them? What, what kind of game are you expecting? Um, like you said, they like to run the ball. They want to uh, set, set the run up early. Um, then they got some play action going with the um, freshman tight end they got there. So, you know, we just got to match the physicality, fly around on the field, and make plays. Allison? Yeah, since last year, the rivalry was so overall, what is the rivalry you to this year? Well, my first game against them was we was in Athens and we won back in, I think that was 2016. So, you know, ever since then, I had that feeling with those guys. and. Coming out here playing those guys is just, it's hate week. You know, we don't like Georgia, so you go out there and try to play your hardest, regardless of the circumstances. Dave? You played this game stand up. Um, the main thing is emphasizing them guys, you know, Keep, they got to keep working on their craft. You know, this ain't another throwaway week. We gotta, we gotta go out here and practice hard so we can put a good performance out there on Saturday. Um, and I think a lot of them guys, you know, just being around Georgia Tech and in Atlanta, you see a lot of UGA, and you kind of get tired of it. So a lot of them guys already got that mentality set where, you know, it's Georgia, it's hate week. So. What's the emotions like in that locker room? Um, emotions. Um, of course, it's some, some bitter emotions, you know, last game. Um, season didn't go quite as how we wanted it to, but at the end of the day, we still going out there. We know we got to put in work, um, reset the process, start over again, and try to um, come out here and put a better performance out here. John? What do you see as sort of legacy of your group of guys, the senior class that's sort of been along for this transition piece for the next few months? Legacy wise, it'll be, I guess, perseverance. You know, regardless of the situations we were thrown in, we always, you know, put our head down and work. Um, you know, we went through 3D coordinators with this senior group, I think. So it's been a lot of changes around here. Um, seen a lot of different things going around here. Regardless, we always put our head down and work and try to put our best effort out here uh, for the Jackets. You've done a great job of leading by example. Well, the guys around me and like those guys, what keep me going? You no, know, we go out there and it's always competition. You know, who gonna get to the ball first? Who making the plays? Like all that. So, the mindset with them guys, I think it's kind of already set just from um, being out there. You know, we out there competing all the time. So, they got the right mindset. Um, always going in. Ken, Coach Thacker's been fun. Um, 
you know, under Coach Thacker, Coach Collin, that's when I got started getting my most meaningful slap, snaps. Um, so it's definitely been a good experience with those guys learning the game, learning um, more about the tackle play. Yeah. Kelly? Um, probably the North Carolina game in Mercedes Benz. Um, that was a big stage, um, very exciting game going in, going into and you know playing in. So yeah. Did you guys play yeah. Dave. Yeah. One thing I can take away. Um, regardless of the situation you thrown in, just. Know what you want out of the situations and keep your head down and work towards that goal. And uh, you'll come out where you want to be. Anything else for drama? Um, <laughs> yes. Um, definitely, the, um, I have to go with the turkey and dressing. You know, that's a given with Thanksgiving. And probably eat the most. I have to throw TK on the bus with that one. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I don't know. I just always, we always mess with TK about um, eating and weight and stuff. So that's why. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> okay. Uh, Jordan Mason, we'll open it right up for questions for, for JP. Kelly? Obviously. I just been approaching it day by day, uh, just taking it all in. I don't know, like I wake up every morning, and I just can't believe it. I'm here, and uh, I'm I'm just I'm mostly excited about December 18th, 10 a.m. when I graduate, and then I'm about to walk across that stage. So I'm just happy about that moment. <laughs> Rod, you've been playing in you know a few of these uh, Georgia Georgia Tech games. Do you have a, a favorite moment, a favorite game in the series? Uh, with Georgia or anybody? With Georgia, uh, no favorite series. Not well, not yet. Uh, <laughs> not yet. Uh, hopefully, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna get a, a good one. We're gonna get a good one in this Saturday. Ken, okay. um, they're obviously such a number of people kind of raised. Oh yeah. Uh, well, right right now we got a we got a great uh, game plan um, that the coaches have come uh, come up with. You know, we call them the gurus. So uh, we got a great uh, game plan, and we just gonna go in and give it all we got. Got it. Uh, I will always have to go back to uh, 2018, maybe like that. I can't remember. Uh, it was a Miami game. And, um, I, of course, I had a good game. But when I fumbled, I will always remember when I fumbled, I came, I jogged to the sideline. Coach Choice came up to me and was like, "Go now go win us the game. He wasn't mad or anything. He, all, he, all he said was go win the game. And the next thing you know, I end up with the, the last touchdown in the game. So I will always remember that game. Yeah, that's 20, yeah, 2019, 2019. <laughs> yeah, yeah, two years ago. <laughs> Allison. Uh, well, with this rivalry game, uh, we haven't we haven't done so well with them the years I've played them. So to to go out with a bang with uh, with my guys, it would it would mean a lot to me. Because, I mean, that's a rivalry game. You always want to play. You always want to get your best and have a good game with them. So, yeah, it would just be a good one. Rod? We all know about Coach Choice and his personality, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Do you have any favorite Coach Choice stories from time he's been here? I can't share that story. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I, I just tell you, man, he's a hard coach, man. He, it's it's nothing but love, man. It's nothing but love coming out of him. Um, anything he do is is because he loves you. It, it ain't it ain't it ain't no hard feelings or anything like that. Um, he has pushed me to be the player I am today. Um, 
everything I, everything I'm doing now is because of him. Okay. Uh, definitely, definitely sitting down with uh, my pops. My mom's, my mom, she likes to think she's included a lot, but uh, it's 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 me and my dad, man. Me, me and my dad, we you know what I'm saying? We just we love to talk. We we talk about those things, but um, yeah, my dad, um, mainly him. He's he's been there my whole life, and a lot of people can't say that. So that's it's just my me and my dad. Say it one more time. Uh, nah, no, no, nothing right now, nothing right now. And then I also had to speak with Coach Choice too. Yeah, them two are the main, main people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if your mom's like anything like my mom, you're in trouble. Man. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, <laughs> it be how it is, man. As you prepare for this week, you flip on that tape. What stands out about Georgia defense? Um. Uh, definitely, their defensive line stand out. Um, their defensive line, um, they can they can two two guy real good, but uh, we we got a plan. We got a plan for them. So, yeah, the D line stands out. Uh, yeah, so uh, a lot of people haven't, uh, well, some people on the team haven't played Georgia. So, uh, you know, we just tell them it's, a, it's like high school. It's a rivalry game. You know, coming into a rivalry game, you have to, I mean, everybody's looking. Everybody's watching to see who who's going to win, who's the big dog. So we just, everybody come in and we just tell everybody you got to do what you got to do. Do your part. Do your 111. Kelly. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Um, about that, it was it was a great experience. Well, it wasn't a great experience. I just I liked the stadium, but uh, I didn't like the experience about it. But um, but just coming from that game, um, you know, we come come back in, watch film, sit down, and go over the tape. But um, we just we just gotta gotta keep going. That, ga games like that happen. It happens. Uh, no, not really. It's the same. You just take it week by week. Uh, every team, every team is a different team. So, I mean, you never know. Any, it's college. Anything can happen. College football. Anything can happen. Ken. Okay. Yeah. About Coach P. Uh, he has this slang that I don't that he has. And uh, we, I mean, we always, we always uh, make fun of him. But he's a, he, he knows what he's talking about, though. So we, we listen to him and we hear from. Him. Allison. What are you thankful for this year, uh, and also what's your favorite thing? Hold on, what's that first? You said what I'm thankful for. Um, um, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm thankful. For, um, I have a little girl. She's uh, she's nine months. She'll be ten months on the eighth, and. Uh, Thanks for her, man. She just because of her, I had to grow up a lot. So uh, a lot of that's a that's a big responsibility right there. And um, about the food, um, I had to say I need dressing dressing with uh, sweet potatoes, but I need the marshmallows on top of the sweet potatoes. You got to have that in there. If that's not in there, I can't I can't have the, can't have the sweet potatoes. Yeah, I like to mix it in there. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Ken? Oh no, no Arby's, no Arby's on Thanksgiving. <laughs> hey, shout out to Arby, but no, no, no Arby's on Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, 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 close. They, they'll be closed that day. <laughs> All right. On that note, thanks, JP. All right, thank you guys. Appreciate you. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started here with Rod. Great guy. I imagine you, you've had some time to think about this last game, especially since it's against you know, the rival. What are your thoughts going into the game? Uh. I was going in the game. Uh, it's kind of hard to say. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Really, just in general, just like not even like the game, but you know what I'm saying? Just gonna be my last college football game in general. 
uh, you know, uh, just dream, dreaming of it as a kid. You know what I'm saying? I never realized that I was living my own dream at the time. Then now it's it's kind of like whenever time go down, you kind of realize that. So you know I say it's it's, it's kind of hard to ex explain. I know the game is going to come by fast and it's going to be over before I know it. So I'm just trying to soak it all in, honestly. Kelly. Yeah, uh, what I say is, uh, I feel like I've been playing consistent all year. Uh, a lot of people don't don't know, but I almost had to get my finger a amputated uh, against against Duke. But um, you know, I've you know uh, just going through the injuries and stuff. You know, you know what I'm saying. A lot of people, you know what I'm saying, thinking what th that they know what's going on up on the field actually. I said, but if you just watch the tape, I feel like I've been I've been playing pretty consistent. But it's just like the, the ball j j just been c coming my way more. I guess it means that you're flashing more. Yeah, I am flashing more. Uh, I think that that just j that just more. Uh, I kind of like switch things up uh, as far as like how I was studying throughout the week now, and I'm just seeing 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 things a lot f a lot faster and g getting in a good position to to make more of plays now. Uh, you know, ever since, you know, you know what I'm saying, it ain't even just like ups and downs on up on the field. You know, I, I kind of lost, I kind of lo lost some people back at home, you know, just going, going through things like that, you know what I'm saying? And of course the L's and stuff, but it definitely has, has, has been tough, uh, tough, but you know, God has a, has a, has a strange way of, uh, uh, teaching us things, putting us through adversity and stuff. And, uh, I've been staying strong, you know, just steady going. Uh, it's a big opportunity, I say. Uh, you know what I'm saying? At the end, at the end of the day, you know, this game is about respect, and the, the it's also about respect and also the name up on your jersey. So I'm saying, just knowing that they're the number more team in the country. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people's going to be watching, and uh. You know what I'm saying? Just going out there to uh, you know what I'm saying? my last, last game, make sure I end it out the right way with my uh, performance. Okay. Uh, the games that you come back here my fifth year, my fifth year. How have you thought about that decision? Say it again. Like, kind of what have you thought about that decision to, to, to do it? Like, how do you feel about deciding to come back? Uh, I mean, I really can't change it now, so I ain't really th thought about it. You know what I'm saying? But it, it definitely wasn't what uh, I had prayed and planned for it to be. But um, as I said, you know, God got his strange ways of uh, putting us through adversities, no matter how good of a person you, you are, no matter how hard you work. And, you know, uh, it's always greater things ahead for not only me, but also this program. Kelly. I say one of my favorite games. I ain't gonna think about me. I, I guess I'll go too, but uh, I go. You know, I say me. You know, me and Ye is like real uh, close. So uh, you know, it was like if y'all go back and watch Pit Game in 2019. You know I'm saying whenever it's like it's kind of strange with me and Ye because whenever he make a play, I make a play, and and it's like you like you can kind of feel that connection. But uh, it was against Pit. Uh, Ye had that uh, that one-handed pick over there up on the 30-yard line, and then I, I come back the next series and catch a pick, and then uh, it was that same it was that same game whenever Ye had uh, blew up the screen and kind of uh, slung a dude, it, and then I had then the following play I ended up doing the exact same thing to like the same 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 dude, but uh, me personally, uh, you know what I'm saying, you know of course my game you know I like to hit people hard you know so. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I always remember my sophomore year. Uh, you know, just uh, I think I had hit somebody, and I just hear the crowd going, "Oh, just just going uh, crazy." You know, whenever I was young, you know, 
I'm saying I used to always dream of that, and then, and then like as soon as I did it, you know, I was like right there, you know, what I'm saying everything I had dreamed of. So I'm saying, of course, you know, just those type of things like that. Awesome. Can you say that again? I'm sorry. Yeah, right. Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, of course, this uh, game, you know, is de de definitely, you know what I'm saying, the volume of it is uh, definitely not the same as it is Notre Dame. So I'm sure, like, uh, all of us is definitely going to come in with a little bit more firepower to this game, knowing, like, it's a r rivalry and stuff. And then they coming in and, and up, up and up in our own stadium, knowing that the, that the whole stadium is probably going to be red. So, so we kind of been wearing that up up on our uh, up up on our shoulders all week. Kelly, do you have a plan for you know, the six minutes in terms of getting ready for that? Uh, mm -hmm. game, all those right. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Yeah. I do actually. Um. Uh, uh. Maybe after you know. Well, yeah. After this game, I did definitely be uh going to be signing with an agent and getting pre prepared for uh some senior bowls. Oh yeah, of course, you know. But um, right now, I'm just I'm just trying to soak all of this in and stuff. I ain't I ain't really too concerned about the future. I know I'm, I know God is going to take care of uh, all, all of that. So I'm just trying to be where my feet is. Anything else, Ken? You know, cause I just love playing the game. You know, uh, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? It was my last year, and uh, I wasn't finna go out there. You know, then it was at the time, you know, knowing that, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm, I'm like real underrated uh, right right, right now. So, so, so me, if I, if I, if I can go out there and play with a broken f finger, you know what I'm saying? Especially uh, Ronnie Lott had the same injury as me. So I'm like, man, if Ronnie Lott can do it, I can definitely do it. So, you know what I'm saying? And then it was my last year, my last season. I, I wasn't going to let it hold hold me back any 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 bit of it. So, Allison? Uh, favorite Thanksgiving food is probably beef dressing. Uh, it's I think it's a New Orleans thing. My uh, other side of my family is from from uh, there, though. And uh, Mimi, my uh, grandma, she cooks. She, cooks. I don't know what she do to it, but man, it's it's amazing. I can literally eat that all day on Thanksgiving. And uh, one thing I'm most thankful for is just my relationship I uh, built with God this year. Um, my uh, granddad always uh, told me, you know, uh, it's never a rush to like get. Uh, you know, what I'm saying we all know when it's time to like build our relationship and to seek Him. And uh, this year, well, last year, you know, it was it was it was my calling. So this year, I just been, you know, what I'm saying, just I'm just proud of my uh, self for taking that next step to seeking the Lord. So that's something I'm, I'm real thankful for.